Okay, welcome back to another SQLite video. If you're new to these series, please feel free to go back and check them all out. They should all be in a playlist. And today we're going to talk about how do we write an update statement for our SQLite database and update some values in that table. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. And hopefully you guys find these helpful. So in the last video, we did an insert statement and we went ahead and we inserted two new records into our people table. We saw how the auto increment worked where we didn't really need to set an ID. The ID was automatically created for us and incremented accordingly, which was pretty sweet. But today the scenario is, okay, uh, maybe our boss tells us, hey, this person's last name changed because they got married. So how do we go into the database and update that specific user's last name using a SQL statement. Well, we're going to use the SQL update statement and the syntax is pretty easy. It looks like this update is going to be the keyword and then next is the table that we're updating and then what we're setting the column values to. So in this example, uh, they have ellipses, so I guess it can go on and on, but they're setting this particular column its value to whatever's put here, this particular column, whatever its value is right here, and then so on and so forth. Now, if you just write it like this without the where condition, which just specifies what exactly we're updating, it's going to update everything in that table with these set values. So that's why the where condition is very important because we probably don't wanna update everything to a single value. We wanna update only certain records, most likely. But let's show both scenarios. So first, if we go back to our browse data with the people table, here are the two people that we entered into this table. We have John and we have Sally. Let's say Sally got married and it's no longer Sally Thomas, it's Sally Andrews or something. You can probably make up your own last name. But let's go ahead and write an update statement to change that last name from Thomas to Andrews. So we'll go back to our execute SQL tab and inside of the editor, Let's delete everything and we're going to write our update statement. So update and then whatever table we're updating. So it's the people table. And then we're going to set, so we're going to use the set keyword and then whatever columns that we're going to change. So in our case, the column is last name and we're going to set that equal to in quotes because this is a varchar, Andrews. Now here's what's important. We need a where clause to specify what particular row we want to update. So where, ID is equal to two. Because if we remember, Sally's ID in the database table is two. And the ID being the primary key is what makes this actually unique. Now we could also say where first name is equal to Sally or where age is 35, but what if there are multiple Sally's in this particular table? Or what if there are multiple people with age 25? Then it would update everyone with age 35 did I say 25? I meant 35. Everyone with age 35 to Andrews, which we probably don't want, right? We just want Sally to be updated. So that's why I'm using ID because it's truly unique. So if we go ahead and run this, we'll hit the play button. We can see it was successful and one row was affected. If we go back to the browse data, we notice Sally's last name is now Andrews. Now, what if we don't use a where clause? Like I mentioned before, um, everything will get updated. So let's take out where ID is equal to two and let's change the last name to John. So update the table people. We're going to set last name equal to John and we're going to hit play. Well, now we can see two rows were affected because we didn't have a where clause. So everything in that table, its last name is going to be set to John. If we browse data, we can see that's true. So that's why the where clause is very important because if you omit it, then everything gets updated. Now we can also do something like, okay, what if their age is less than 30? We wanna update their first name. So let's set first name equal to Mark, where the age is less than 30. So we can also do like numerical conditions. And if we hit play, one row was affected. We'll browse the data, we could see uh, the first row here, since it was under 30, the first name was changed to Mark. So that's how we can write an update statement uh, in SQLite using the database browser for SQLite. And thanks so much for watching.